I remember going into my my dad's room and grabbing his gun, just holding it and thinking, just finish it here, Luis, and hurt no more. My name is Luis Quiroz. At the age of 14, I was introduced into marijuana. Making money at that age, it was easy for me to buy it. At the age of 16, having older friends with their own place, it was really easy to get away from adult supervision. That's when it started becoming a daily habit. In the beginning, I would use it to be cool, to fit in and feel older. Not knowing that slowly started affecting my health, losing a lot of weight. It started affecting my education, not graduating on time. My friends that didn't want to be a part of it started fading away. My finances started dropping, started hurting my family emotionally once they found out what I was getting into. I started really getting depressed. I remember it started getting so bad that suicidal thoughts started coming into my head. I remember going into my, my dad's room and grabbing his gun, just holding it and thinking, just finish it here, Luis, and hurt no more. Not wanting to put my family in that situation of a lost family member again, it would stop me from making a dumb decision, but the suicidal thoughts didn't. August 2013, I had enough, and I remember praying every night for God to help me, to take my life, and I couldn't do it on my own. A month later, I went to the gym and met a, and met a young man named David. He introduced himself, and we just started talking about general conversation. And then I don't know where he started telling me his testimony of how God changed his life, how he was set from drugs, and he was completely changed. Him being a complete stranger to me, I mean, I believed everything he said. A lot of the things, a lot of his problems that he had gone through in his past, I was going through at that moment. After that, we just shook hands, took each other's names, and went our separate ways. Ever since that day, I started applying those little things that he shared with me into my life. And I started noticing little changes in my life. What he did was he brought a whole bag into my life. He planted and sowed a seed into my heart. Two months later, I saw him again at the gym. And something inside of me told me, go up to him and thank him for that day, for what he told you. So I went up to him and I was like, hey, my name is Lisa. I don't know if you remember me, but we met about two months ago in and you shared your story with me, you opened your heart out to me. And you know, I just want to say thanks because it has helped me out a lot. He's like, wow, it's crazy how you think something so small can help out someone so much. I was like, yeah, most definitely, I just want to say thanks. He's like, look, let me get your number. You know, if you want to come to my church and learn more about what has helped me change or just hang out, you know, give me your number. He invited me to church and after a couple of invitations, I came to Wednesday service. The first night I came to Wednesday service, you know, I saw things, heard things, felt things I never did before. At the end of the service, Pastor Vladimir asked if there was anyone that wanted to give their life to do God. And quickly I raised my hand because I knew for a few months already that that's something I needed to do. And that was the night that I got saved. And ever since that day, you know, I started noticing more, more positive changes into my life. I started growing with God, reading the Bible, blessings started coming to my life. The biggest change was my addiction to marijuana. From the day that I met David at the gym till like December, you know, I went strong without it. But I still had cravings in my head. I still had those thoughts coming into my head until I slipped back into it, being around that association. And I told my pastor if he could pray for me in that specific area. And ever since March 26, 2014, was the last time I used marijuana and other drugs. A month later on April 20th was the day I got baptized. And ever since then, I've just been growing with God, reading the Bible, attending a home group. Now I lead my own home group. And just been helping other people who are in my situation know that there's a better way, that there's a better life than using drugs, partying, and alcohol. Now I know my purpose in life. Now I wake up every morning excited, looking forward for my future because I know where I'm headed. I know the people I'm surrounded by. I receive so many blessings and this is just the beginning and the best is yet to come.